Is this the day we see father? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Explain, father. Get any creepier, huh? Explain everything. What does the sacrifice mean? <laughs> brought you a human sacrifice! Your father? Where? This is happening too fast! <sighs> and who is this? You can walk? Dad? Episode 28, father. Yeah, is he the dad? Is he Hallenheim? Oh, they're coming out. Oh, this is perfect. Ed's gonna be here too. This is not going well for Gluttony. Envy. That thing? Yes, indeed. Brother. There he is. We're all here. That means <laughs> we're back in the real world. <laughs> Nice fist bump. Father must be so confused right now. But I'm okay, Al. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> the sounds of all of Envy's souls in the background. So Al did just say father, right? I know it sounds weird, but I always just thought father was stuck in that tube thing. It's sort of a big deal that he can walk around. <laughs> Poor Xiao Mei got dragged into this. Are you two the Elric brothers? So you're... you're not... Have you mistaken me for someone else? Well, he looks just like Hellheim. Hohen. The name you say. By any chance do you mean von Hohenheim? And how is it the two of you are acquainted with him? Well, he's our father. <sighs> he's your father? This is indeed surprising. I had no idea he had children. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? If what is going on? His progeny, then why is it that your family name is Elric? Why is he so amicable? He's so friendly. <laughs> uh, don't know how to feel about that. Didn't expect that at all. That's some good alchemy. There. How is that for you? Your arm is broken. He's good. I consider the two of you to be vital resources. You must both remain alive and healthy. This isn't right, Al. He performed a transmutation without any movement at all. And he didn't even thin out my armor. There, there isn't, isn't any, any equivalent, equivalent exchange. exchange. You aren't human. What are you? What the hell's inside you? I would ask who you are, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> Ouch. I can tell he looks down on humans and calls us fools. When you notice an insect on the ground, do you stop to consider it a fool? Oof. Ouch. It's pretty apparent that you're the root of all this evil! I'm taking you down! I'm starting to get the feeling the father is actually not the one behind everything. I mean, maybe he is to some extent, but the more I think about the show and the themes and the fact that the homunculi all have human sins as names, it seems likely that the true origin of all of it is human and human evil. I mean, after all, the show seems to be sort of a commentary on human evil and how to overcome it. After watching the previous episode, the recap episode with Hohenheim, one of the, the themes of the show became a little bit more clear. And I think that theme is a question. And it's like, how do you have faith in humanity despite its many failings? Like we've seen how easily humans go to war. We've seen that in the show, they're really easy, easily manipulated. They're really quick to hatred. Finding truth is really difficult and it seems like a perpetual result of that is conflict and pain how do you continue to have faith in humanity and how do you not become bitter and jaded towards others and think that some people deserve to be subjugated or eliminated or whatever despite the evils that you see and i think that's one of the challenges for the characters and i think that's part of what makes them heroic is that they keep going forward and keep having faith in light of everything that's going on and they try to make things better not worse so because of that i think ed's comment that he's the root of all evil i think probably is missing some key point maybe i don't care how many cronies you got just who are you calling a crony, Pipsqueak? Pipsqueak? Uh-oh, you did it now. Envy never learned. Got you now, boss man! The father seems to be the ultimate alchemist. We get a little power preview here. Yeah, so it's not Hohenheim, but it's based on Hohenheim or something. Hauenheim did something in the past, I guess. Why can't we use our alchemy? 
You lower life forms never cease to amuse me. You get a speck of power and you think you own the world. And you don't even know what that power is. And then you have the arrogance to assume that you're the one who's in control of this power. You're like a bad joke that keeps getting done. What are you bastards planning? You promised to tell me everything if I got you out! Huh? Why, I would never stoop so low as to make a deal with a worm like you. Yeah, your problem is trusting Envy. I could always use a new pawn in the rotation. The rotation, huh? He's going to make a new homunculus. Don't shoot it! This is exactly what I want, so you just stay out of it! Are you serious? I came to your land to find a Philosopher's Stone, and now this guy wants to give me one! I'm not gonna turn this down! Think about what you're doing! Well, now this is you. But we'll see if your body is as willing as your mind. <laughs> no I feel doubt. like Link can take it. He wants it bad enough. He wants immortality. But Ling as a homunculus is crazy. Stay back! I promise that I know what I'm doing! I sure hope so. <laughs> Am I really supposed to use this little brat? Is that greed? I guess the fact that Father said this is a rotation means it's something he does frequently, or he has to replace them, which I guess makes sense if it's a really long time frame. One thing from a little bit back that I can't stop thinking about is Envy said something about using the power of alchemy without fully understanding it. That's super interesting. Seems like there are parts of it that we haven't unlocked yet. If so, that's a really cool way to frame alchemy, because I feel like that is true of certain art forms or things that require a high level of mastery. Like, there's certain things that seem to have no bottom. There are things that I feel like I'm I'm good at or I'm a specialist in, let's say, that I constantly find myself reevaluating my assessment of what those things are. Certain things just go deeper and deeper deeper. And if alchemy is a representation of like the flow of life and material existence, let's say, it seems highly likely that there could be levels that Ed hasn't gotten to yet. You know, that a fuller understanding of which could actually take him to some other level, some other deeper understanding of it. I guess I'll have to make do with it. Fine with me. Consider it yours. You can have it. Huh? Huh? <laughs> You're talking to the future Emperor of Xing, monster. I am no normal man. My heart is large enough to hold 20 or 30 of you! <laughs> well, I do like how ambitious you are. Just don't try and change your mind. I'll never change my mind. My vassal lost her arm helping me search for this! I couldn't face her again if I came home empty-handed! Seems like a devil's bargain to me, though. To provide for my people, and to take my place as ruler, and I accept all of the risks! Your address is certainly appealing. But let's see if your stomach matches your appetite. Yeah, greed is a good fit. But now where does he fall? Wang? What? Ah, oh, you mean the guy I took this body from? Oh no. Sorry. But your friend just checked out and left greed this body. So, you're not Ling? Did he say greed? Full metal outburst. Ling Yao. AK Greed. <laughs> I was hoping that this would be the card. <laughs> so then... Are you the creed from before? Huh? What are you talking about? But no memories. Ling would never give up and surrender himself so easily! Answer me, Ling! Ling! <laughs> Ling! He's gotta still be in there. Now everyone really is here. Get your panda back. There you go. Oh, now that is a touching reunion right there. This is so weird. I don't know how to feel about this new Ling. <laughs> So the armored boy is not with the homunculi. And they've also got full metal. Huh? Where is he? Where is Mr. Edward? Oh yeah, she's a He's fan. Right there. Huh? He's not really here, is he? I told you, that's him right there. That little guy is the full metal alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Expectations crushed. He's still like twice your height, though. How can you use your alchemy here? What do you mean? Oh yeah, he can use it, but they can't. You want to know the truth about what started the war in Ishval? In Ishval? The truth about who shot that child and started the uprising? Tell him. Standing right there. It was Envy disguised as a soldier. These guys orchestrated the entire war. I'd like to hear more details about this. We all would. <laughs> I know him. It's Ling Yao of the Yao clan, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let's talk a moment. How are you able to use your alchemy? Father is so weird. He seems like not all there. Physical destruction. No. Decomposition, is it? <laughs> Jumped one second later. I'd be a dead man. Thanks for explaining. You need to run. I to eat you. You all right? I feel like she and I will get along really well. Damn. Scar, can you make it to the surface with this girl? You would allow me to escape, even though I'm the one responsible for the deaths of your friend's parents. Yeah, well, I'd rather beat you senseless, and it makes me sick to have to ask you for help. But right now, we need to save this girl's life. Yeah, priorities. And I have no intention of turning my back on this place just here. Wait, what are you doing? Look! You just use Al's head as a spark? What a rude thing to do! It was rude. Get up and track his sin, gluttony. <laughs> You've used up your regenerative power. Your body's dying. Well, wow, they got close. You fling his body back. Sorry, can't do that. Give up already, you idiot. What about your country? Have you forgotten all about Cloud Flat? He is still in there a little bit. Man, you guys really made a mess of things, didn't you? If you had simply behaved yourselves, then we would have let you go a long time ago. Brother. He's in there. I know it. Ling's alive. What is going on? <laughs> this is another one of those moments where it's like, you want father? You want Ed and Al? You want the homunculi? You want Scar? We got it all. Here they are, together in a room. Craziness ensues. I would say the only thing missing is Winry, but after what happened last time, I don't want to jinx it. They're always dropping clues. They're always dropping little things, one little thing at a time. Father is really weird. He's not all there? He almost seems like a robot, you know what I mean? He's like off. I've always thought he resembled Howenheim, and Ed and Al have confirmed that for sure. There must be some connection, especially after we saw Howenheim grappling with himself in the previous episode. He did something, or he was involved in some way in the beginning of this, that led to all this, and now he sort of has a crisis of conscience about what to do going forward about it. It's been implied that he knew everything, right? Why don't you do something? Why don't you warn them? So there was some project he embarked on, maybe with others, I don't know, that was born from his distaste for humanity and the way they go to war and hate each other and cause violence and are easily manipulated and all those things. And if that is true, I think that's a nice touch. I think it's a good idea having the villainy stem from humanity because like i said i feel like that's an important theme of the show it's like how do you not give in to evil right like how do you deal with evil humanity how do you face the evil of humanity without becoming evil yourself without becoming overly cynical about it without becoming hateful without seeing people who do harm as something to be eliminated or disposed of how do you not take a bleak view of humanity because it's really easy to have the thought when you see terrible things to become bitter and to feel like, you know, I'm the only one who can see clearly and everybody else is pathetic and is causing great danger for me and things I care about. And so it's worthwhile and necessary to hate them or to take action against them or something like that. It's really easy to have a race to the bottom that way. And so it seems like it's no coincidence that the homunculi, the operators of this plan, are human sins. Envy, greed, lust, wrath, pride. Also, this episode raises a lot of questions about alchemy. How come Father can do alchemy so easily? How come Ed and Al can't do alchemy but Scar can? What is Envy referring to? You know, Envy referred to Ed not fully understanding the, the thing he uses. That leads me to think there's a deeper level to it that we haven't uncovered yet. Alchemy has something greater behind it that has its own laws, maybe. I could offer some useless conjecture about what it actually means, but I've sort of learned the hard way, you just have to wait for more information. So many times in the show, I'm like, this is where we'll get some answers, and what I get is more questions. But that's part of what keeps it so exciting. Before the video ends, I gotta give a very special shout out to everybody who joined the top tier on Patreon this week. Special shout out goes to Matthew Manier, Bruno Thompson, Morgan Ritson, and Rachel Keys. Attack on Titan will start very soon. It'll start one week earlier on Patreon. For those who don't know, videos are one week ahead on Patreon. There's also a ton of random bonus stuff up there, so check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks to all my patrons for the support. You guys make this possible. Thanks to all of you for watching, and I'll see you next time for episode 29. Oh, I almost forgot there's an ending to this episode. It's been a while. I see that you've exhausted the regenerative powers of the stone. There's no need to worry. Fear not, my son. <laughs> A 
I'll recreate you when the time is right, with all of your memories intact. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm glad he didn't really die. He's all right. Why did I feel sad for a moment? Weird. Weird. I also noticed he just absorbed that philosopher's stone like it was nothing. Okay. Okay.